Welcome back, artists. This week we're gonna be doing a Wayne Tebow inspired artwork. He's a pop art painter who mostly does food, that's what he's known for, and we're gonna be doing a cake today. So I'm gonna show you how to draw it. We're gonna do it first in pencil, and then I did mine in chalk pastel. You can use chalk pastel if you want. If you don't, it's fine to just use crayons or colored pencils or whatever kind of drawing material you have at home. And you are gonna need an eraser because we're actually gonna draw a whole cake and then I'm gonna show you how to remove a slice. You can also leave it whole if you want to. So go ahead and grab your art supplies. And if you are using chalk pastel, please put down a messy mat. I took a grocery bag that I undid and laid down because the chalk does get pretty messy. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, artists, let's go ahead and get started on our drawings. So here's my finish. Go ahead and grab your white paper. You're gonna need a pencil, make sure it has an eraser, and then whatever you're gonna draw with. I'm gonna be using chalk pastel, but like I said earlier, you can use any kind of drawing utensil that you want. Okay, so I'm gonna be drawing mine in pencil today. I'm gonna draw it kind of dark so that you can see, and because I'm going to be erasing a slice out of the cake. Okay, so we're gonna start with the big cake and we're gonna make what's first called, the shape is an ellipse, um, but it's gonna look like a squished oval. And this is gonna be the top of the cake. Now I'm drawing very dark, just so you can see, you do not have to draw this dark. You can draw pretty light so that it's easy to erase. Okay, do you see my ellipse there? So that's gonna be the top of the cake. It looks like a squished oval. And then I want you to draw a straight line coming down from each end. This is gonna be the sides of the cake. And that ellipse helps it look like a 3D circle. Kind of think of a trash can. When you look at a trash can, it doesn't look like an open circle, but it, it really is whenever you get on top of it. And then for the bottom, we're gonna do a curved shape like a happy face to show the bottom of the cake. Okay, now you have your whole cake. If you wanna leave your cake whole, great. Um, if you wanna take a slice out, I'm gonna show you how to do that and then we're gonna do the plate and the horizon line. Okay, so to take a slice out of my cake, I'm gonna start at the top. I'm gonna lightly draw a circle where the middle of the cake would be. And then I'm gonna cut out basically a triangle shape from the top. Okay, once you have your triangle shape, I want you to come down with two straight lines all the way to the bottom of the cake. From there. Okay, the next step we're going to add a line kind of a diagonal line matching the top of this triangle at the bottom. So kind of have it point up towards the top right corner. And then we're gonna erase the line we had the edge of the cake. Because now this is gonna be a missing slice. Okay, beautiful. And then if you want, if you're gonna do icing inside, you can go ahead and add a stripe of whatever color you want the icing to be. Okay, you can also erase the line at the bottom where the bottom of the cake is because remember that piece is missing now. And there we have our cake with the slice missing. Okay, I'm gonna draw a plate around mine so I'm gonna make another ellipse, a bigger shape. So I want you to go towards the bottom of the cake. I'm gonna do two dots on mine. You don't have to do that on yours to show you where. And I'm gonna wrap an ellipse around this bottom of the cake to make it look like it's sitting on a plate. Hopefully you guys can see that in your view. I'll make it a little bit darker. Okay. And then last step is I'm gonna put a horizon line behind it so that I have a color for the table and a color for the wall. Okay, your picture is done being drawn. You can go ahead and get your drawing supplies and decide what colors you're gonna use. I'm gonna go ahead and pause this 
and fast forward it to when I'm done. So I'm gonna show you my finished one again. And then to make it look a little bit 3D, if you're a little bit more advanced, you can add some shading to the edges, helps make it look round like a 3D form. Okay, I'm gonna fast forward and then I'll show you mine when it's finished being colored. Okay, once you get the whole thing colored in and make sure you add any kind of details you want. You might put toppings, candles, I put a little bit of icing on the side. And then I'm gonna show you guys real quick how to add a little bit of shading to it. So on my uh, main color on the icing here, I did a light blue. So you wanna choose another color that's um, darker, but not too dark, pretty close. So I'm gonna choose this, um, I'll show you the first one I used. So this one to this one. I'm gonna go to the side and I'm gonna blend in some of this medium blue. And I'm gonna go to this edge too. And then you can use a tissue or your hand is fine and kind of blend that darker color in and go around. Now if you are using chalk pastel, it's really important never to blow the dust um, you want to pick up your paper and kind of tap the extra dust off. And I'm going to add some shading to my top as well. So I did a light purple. I'm going to get a darker purple. And I'm going to kind of go around the edges a little bit and blend in some shading. You can even go down under the plate and add some. I'm gonna do some dark pink on my icing on the edges. And then I did a pretty dark blue for the bottom. So I'm gonna go in with a dark purple to just make it a little bit darker. I'm gonna go underneath where that cake is and in where that slice is missing. Blend a little shadow in down there. And you can tell it makes it pop a little bit more off the page. I might add a little bit of gold onto this middle piece as well. Okay, so now you guys have your Wayne Tebow cakes. If you would like to send us in a picture, we would love to see what you made and how you decorated your cakes. And I will see you guys next week for another art project. Have a good week. I'll see you soon. Bye.